Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 5. Today is episode number two. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. Right, so now what we're going to be doing is we are going to be moving on to the FF special, which uh, stands for front wheel drive with a front engine, I think. Um, so, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this Vit U Euro Sport Edition, and we're going to go to the tuning shop and just tune it up a little bit because. It's very weak on power, um, so that way we can squeeze a little bit more power out of it. There you go, 89 horsepower there, we'll install that. Um, so you have quite a lot of money now from the last few episodes. There you go, 92 horsepower. Squeezing a little bit more out of it. Um, I know exhaust, there's some cheap ones, there we go. Sports exhaust, what's... yeah, we'll get that one. Um, and then also grab ourselves, how much does that give? Only three horsepower, that gives three as well. Yeah, no point in buying both of those then. Um, I think turbo kits as well, they've got something under there. One twenty six or one thirteen or one four four. Ooh, one four four is quite tempting. With a large performance boost. We'll go for a low range one. It's not too expensive. Um and then I think as well we'll need some tires. Maybe try some soft sport tyres. Or maybe durability might be better. Hmm. It's a tough choice. I think we'll go for softs. We'll chuck some soft tyres on the car. Perfect. Let's go back to the home page. And then I think, yeah, it should be, uh, I think it's three races. It might be two. Uh, let's go to the A-Spec menu. Begin a series and onto the FF challenge. Perfect. Yes, three races. So we're going to start with the Suzuka circuit. Then we're going on to the special stage route and then the deep forest raceway. Right, so we are now on the Suzuka circuit. We've got a half mile straight on this track, which is awesome. Oh, look at that car. I said we wouldn't get a worse car, and we got a worse car. Though, there is some acceleration with it. It may not be the fastest, but there is some speed. And we've just lost it all, I think. There is literally no engine noise with this car. Oh my god, the Citroen can't get around the corner! Move! <laughs> Stuck in the way! Alright, squeezing through there, weaving around the outside. Oh, a little bit wide. But our soft sport tyres managed very well with that, actually. is making it around the corner very nicely but there's no engine noise it's too it's too much of a family car this wasn't designed for racing nice nice right coming up to the first corner again managed to hit 100 miles an hour with this car, so that is fair enough. The fact is, whenever I played Gran Turismo 5, I played through a lot of the game, but I would only play arcade mode. I never actually played GT Life, so this is a completely new experience for me. It is like playing a brand new game. 
because I never played GT Life at all. I played through one, like, I started it and I didn't like it, so I just played Arcade. It was like, yeah, let's, let's mess around with the GT by Citroen. That was the only car I ever drove as well, because it looked cool. And it did look cool. Oh, look at that. Ten seconds. That's the difference. This car has some slow acceleration off the line. You can tell that from the times, the lap times. Perfect. Very good first lap. Is there actually an interior camera for this car? No, there isn't. Gran Turismo on the PSP so much like it was ridiculous the amount I played the PSP version of the game so much hours were put into that uh, but that is the race completed nicely done awesome Right, moving on to the next track. Right, so we are here on the Clubman Stage Route 5. We have three laps of this race to do. 4.6 miles. That is a very long track. 4.6 miles total, that is. So the lap length is about 153. Oh, we got high beams on. Oh, the cars are overtaking us. That's... Not a good sign. Oh my gosh, why are you braking? You don't need to brake. To be fair though, we do have uh, sports tyres on. Maybe they don't. Maybe only we do. Maybe that's why we're so far ahead. Perfectly done there. Nice. We're not looking at a lot of speed with this car. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. I'm guessing by episode 5, I'm going to predict, we will be in a much faster car. Maybe episode 8. Probably. Nice, nice. Awesome. The fact that this game, they say it has over a thousand cars, I don't know if it does, but the fact that there is so many cars in this game is unreal. There are hundreds and hundreds of cars. And this game fits on a Blu-ray disc, which can store about 12 gigabytes, I think, somewhere around there. So quite a lot of cars all stuck on that small disc. It's crazy. Right, onto the third and final lap. Right, slowing down for this corner. We don't normally have to slow down this much for corners, but... Perfect. Nice 
nicely done. Awesome. Brakes, perfect. Final straight and across the line. That last lap wasn't our fastest lap, surprisingly. I was very, I'm very surprised by that. I thought that last lap was very quick, but it wasn't. Right, so on to the final race now. Right, we are now on the Deep Forest Raceway, 2.24 miles per lap. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Does this car have a turbo? Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice it had a turbo. Oh no, we fitted one, didn't we? Never mind, ignore me. <laughs> I'm going crazy. Right. Here we go, let's see if we can overtake that C4. Nice. Got a little Alfa Romeo in front of us. Horrible looking thing. I don't want to know what that car is. Right, we've got a Peugeot 206 crawling away in front of us. Nice. And we've just passed an Integra Type R as well, I think. Which is surprising that this thing is faster than an Integra, but okay. This is what I love about Gran Turismo. Look at these tracks. The scenery just looks amazing. They've done a great job, honestly. Oh, slowly crawling along here. Perfect. Right, onto the brakes. Nice. corner you really do have to slow down for but here we go and across the line onto lap number two a 152.065 that's a very good lap time there slowing the car down very quick to get around the corner there hairpin turn And here we go, into the mountains. Awesome. Let's keep it moving. Nice. Lap time is looking really good at the moment. Here we go, here we go. Look at that view to the um, left. Left, not right. <laughs> many games that impressed me this, that much like of old games but games like this are just awesome way ahead of their time and here we go let's go across the line 138.9 so we took 14 seconds off of that lap time there that's a huge amount of time And let's take that 4,100 credits and level five as well. 
Very nice. All right, let's exit and see what is the next championship that we got to do. The loading times are a little bit long for this game, but they're bearable. Uh, so the next one is going to be World Compact. A three race championship for small, speedy hot hatches. Okay, awesome. Let's go. Right, we are now in London. We have 3.58 miles to drive. Look at that. I remember that bit has been in Project Gotham Racing 4. That bit's also been in Gran Turismo and it's also in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. <laughs> Honestly, that part of London looks amazing. Right, onto the brakes. Bit of a corner cut there. Cheeky corner cut. Right, let's squeeze through. Come on. Come on, little Vitz, you can do it. Nice. Little bit of understeer as well. Nice. Onto the brakes, perfect. Round the corner, round the corner. Nice. And here it is. Here's the memorable bit, the Sanyo sign. Look at that. That is amazing. This, this is one of the coolest looking um, sort of maps and tracks that you get in games nowadays. The tracks don't look as good as this. Like the track design in Gran Turismo is amazing. Wide there, very wide. Right, slow in. Perfect. I'm surprised the tyres haven't exploded with how we're ripping them into corners. Brakes, perfect. Right, onto the final lap. There's even detail in that scaffolding on that building there. And look at that. There's people actually standing on the scaffolding there. Spanish flag, Danish flag, French flag. British flag, yay! We're looking for that one. German flag. Just little details like that is enough to make it feel like a race and not just going round in circles. This feels like a racetrack should. There we go, nice. Awesome. down final corner onto the finishing straight and across the line finish I see what do we get that was a very good time we actually beat another oh no that's a Vitz RS turbo that's a different car make sure we're talking about the right car Right, 3,000 credits earned, and we got 100 total points so far. And some XP as well. Nice. Right, on to the next track. Right, so we are here at the Circuit of Madrid. We are doing it three laps. It's going to take about four miles. Four miles? Probably about four minutes. That's what I was meant to say. Let's go. Oh, look at the little bits. Let's go. We are 
are flying. No. Right, let's go. The car has quite a lot of extra power though, compared to the rest of the cars. Money rolling in there, 3,000 credits. Nice. On to the final race. Right, we are here at the Cape Ring inside circuit. We have three laps to do. I do like the Cape Ring circuit. It's a very nice track. Go, 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 go. I'm not going to lie, but if there was a race with these cars, there would not be this many people at the track. I'm not going to lie, no one is going to turn up to watch a Vitz go around a circuit. Not at all. They turn up to watch a Bugatti Veyron, if that was to come along. But not a Vitz, not at all. Though, the little Vitz is getting some speed through. Final straight. 
straight going into a lap number two. Awesome. Onto the brakes, very hard there. Gripping it towards the inside wall there. Very nice corner. Here we go, come on, come on. Perfect. We are looking at some very good times going through here. Check as well, 3,000 credits. Nice. Welcome to the Top Gear test track, the base of the hugely popular British motoring TV show, Top Gear. You probably know all about the Top Gear track already, but let's go over some of the details anyway. It's located at Dunsfold Airfield in Surrey, UK, just one hour from London. And it's a short figure of eight track with a length of 2.82 kilometers. Because it's a very wide circuit based on an old airfield, first time drivers will initially find it difficult to figure out which way the track goes, let alone find the racing line. Don't worry though, once you're racing, you'll soon figure it out by following the other drivers. One word of warning however, as we said, it's a figure of eight track, which of course means that it crosses over itself halfway through the lap. This means that there's a danger of collision with other cars as you pass through the crossover. On a normal circuit, you only need to be aware of cars in front and behind you. But on the top gear track, you need to look right and left too. Don't forget that when you're out there. The track layout was designed with the assistance from engineers at Lotus, the legendary British sports car maker, with a view to including all types of high and low speed corners to seriously test both car and driver. It's been used as the base for Top Gear since 2002, and F1 stars such as Michael Schumacher, Jensen Button, Lewis Hamilton and Mark Webber have all driven here while filming for the show. This is where the Top Gear's tame racing driver, the Stig, pushes the world's greatest cars to the limit. Good luck and enjoy the race. Right, so we are going to be driving VW camper fans for the final mission uh, of this video. I know the last one we said was going to be the last one, but we're going to chuck this one in, just get it over and done with. 
And then that should be it for the episode. Right, so we're now on the Top Gear test track. We're going to give this a try as our final mission of this episode. Right, let's go... Uh, which camera? This one, probably, would be best. I can't see anything over the camper van, so... Yeah, this is probably the easiest one. So we have two laps of the Top Gear test track to overtake as many cars as possible. We need to get into those positions. I'm aiming for third. Or silver. If we can get gold, that'd be good. That was drifting in a camper van. I'm sorry, but that doesn't happen often. Coming up the inside, up the inside. Oi! That was cheeky. Hitting my camper van like that. Trying to pit maneuver me as well. That's not fair. That clearly is not fair. Right, coming up to the hammerhead. Tap of the brakes, but not too much. Oh, look at that. Come on, come on, don't pull away too far. Don't pull away too far. Right, let's see if we can get up behind this guy so that we can get some slipstream and try and pull our car forward. I say car, it's a van, or a lorry, to be honest. Right, coming to the follow-through. Whoa! Cones there. Cones are flying everywhere. Not going to hit a straight one, because that will give me a penalty. Come on, come on, come on. I want to try it not cut the corner here, but I want to try and not break too much. Oh, gosh. Okay, recovered. That was actually a very good corner there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Seventh place. You have to overtake six more vehicles. That may be a challenge. We could do it. getting hit by a stray cone. Ah! No, I don't want to be force-fed a penalty. Or a disqualification as this game seems to hand out quite frequently. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, little T2. Come on, little splitty. This, this is the slowest, but this is, like, intense. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 we lost too much speed. Oh, we may not get first now. I don't think it's possible. I honestly don't think it's possible. Ah, oh, that's ruined us. Right. Oh, look at the plane in the distance. I never noticed that. Before. That's awesome. There are campers trying to catch up with me. They're trying to drive through the butter. Second place though, fair enough, second place, fair enough, silver, ah, nearly had it, nearly had it, how much money do we get for that, 14,000, okay, I'll take that, 
That's really helpful, that man. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with all the stuff going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to go take a look in the description for links of socials and all sorts of other places. And also we have finally got merch down there, so go check that out. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button, it means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.